Hi everybody. Gosh, I've missed so much posting in this group and seeing all of you. I hope you're doing well. Um, again, I'm Christina. For those of you who don't know me, I am with the Family Support and Community Engagement Team. And so I just thought because this month in February is Black History Month, I wanted to add a few more stories onto our diversity series that we were doing previously. I know we've been kind of quiet in here. We're starting to get it back up. I think everyone's just kind of burn out between Zooms and Google Meets and online schooling and virtual everything. So we were all kind of just taking a step back. I think everybody needed that. Um, so we hope that you are all doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. And I just wanted to share a few more stories um, that I have here at home that we've been reading with our kiddos. Um, and there are two more new ones that we have. And so I will do a separate video for the other book. So that way, if you just wanted to listen to one story, um, you can click on the link and you can listen to each one. So the two stories, the new ones that we have, we have Hair Love. I think I love it so much because the little girl reminds me of my niece and her cute little puffs on top of her head. My niece has, whether she does one puff or like two little puffs, I love it so much. So I love, love, love this book. And then the other book is called Chocolate Me. So I'm going to re read one now and then I will do another video um, and do Chocolate Me. So that way you can listen to them individually uh, if you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first one is called Hair Love. All right, make sure you guys can see here. All right, my name is Zuri and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it's beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. Look at how adorable these illustrations are. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's such a nice book. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. This is the picture reminds me of my niece. I love it. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There's nothing my hair can't do. Today I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday, we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Because today is special, I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Pause off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? So it looks like she was looking at her iPad and it fell down on the floor. She was looking for help with doing her hair and it fell down. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. <laughs> Apparently she didn't like the three puffs. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. <laughs> Look, the hair tie went flying into his face. Been there, right? How many times 
you have a little girl, if you have a daughter, how many times you've flung one of those. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really? I said. I'll be right back, he promised. <laughs> you made her hair all poofy. <laughs> She's so cute. Now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. Funky puff buns, pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Look at how happy she is. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest Supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled, very nice, thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. And that's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed that story as much as I do and our boys. Um, again, I will record another video after this one to do Chocolate Me, also a very cute story. So thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope we all see each other very, very soon. Have a great night, guys.